Hi, I'd now like to show you the Weave Wizard, which is here. As you can see, I have created lots of different circles. All that I have done is create four circles and then just done a block copy rotate just to sweep this all around a center. And I've also created a cross section here. So what I'm going to do is select all of these circles. I have grouped them all together and then select the cross section, select the weave wizard and it gives me this dialog box. Here you can see I can adjust the length of the crossover so I can actually adjust how far the weave crosses over each other. So let's change that to 5 and the depth of underpass as a percentage so the weave will drop down and then the height that it will gain in Z. So I'll just leave these on the default for now. I can also adjust the corner shape so it could be a round corner or a square corner. It's not going to make too much difference to this particular piece as there are no square corners anyway. So I'm just going to add this and OK it. If I go into the 3D view now, then you can see it's created a weave of that pattern. So I'm going to undo this, go back onto the 2D view and I'm just going to bring this part down here straight. And just trim this part off of here so it's a perfect shape. Just delete that and I'm going to join this up now using the join command. So this is all one vector now. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Select all of the circles and select this as the cross section. And the depth of underpass, I'm going to do this at 75 and I'm going to change the height at 75 as well. And I'll OK that. I'm going to the 3D view. Now you can see, because I've given it quite a lot of height, the weave is coming up 75% of the height and it's also dropping down 75% of the height. So this allows you to add quite a lot of depth to the weave. So there you can see that's more pronounced than it was previously. So you can do some quite cool designs with this relatively easy.